Hi guys, it's your girl Stephanie. See, eh? this is what they call dying for nyash. And yes, I've come to a rant today. I came to give my review on Anikolak, but I must say that that movie was top notch. I enjoyed every single part of that movie, the costumes, everything was on point to me. Even though I don't understand Yoruba, the subtitles helped me a lot and I was able to understand the storyline and follow up even though if i understood yoruba it would have been sweeter don't worry i'm picking up the period so let's dive right into this video firstly i see people online dragging the woman see what me want to say is men are what saro did not try at all ah damn after watching anikola i realized that in this society that's what most men do and that's why many women come up with this statement that oh i can't grow with a man i can't be with a broke guy i'm going to support a man these are the reasons why so to me i feel like it reflects a lot on our lives right now so many women struggle with men make them who they are when they get the money they just start doing their own stuff start acting like they don't exist don't whether you like it or not it's going to hurt someone so much ah Saro, you no not try at all ah that thing pained me like i felt it in my chest like it was me honestly speaking this guy messed up this lady literally built this guy made him who he was it was just so painful it was so goddamn painful i don't blame a woman let me just call her queen because right now i don't remember her name she was in love people do crazy things when they're in love she literally risked risk her life for this guy she wanted a man to be established she wanted him to 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 have ground where they were she felt probably he would have handled everything better but as usual he decided to die for nyash he messed everything up in my honest opinion i would have done exactly what the lady did before she left she made him to destroy him and yeah i agree with that she tried her best so many ladies are afraid of being with a guy when he's broke being with a guy at his lowest and discover that or oh, when he makes his own money he starts acting up let's be honest no let's seriously be honest love can make you be a fool love can make you be a boom -boom. Love is wicked. yes love is wicked. i feel like the first mistake arulake actually made was staying with saru immediately he got that other woman pregnant can't blame her she didn't have anywhere else to go she literally ran away from her village so she has to settle for less and i don't blame her i actually did not expect that sarah was going to go that route sarah was a rapist at first i actually like felt sorry for sarah i actually felt like sarah was actually going to be a good person because they portrayed him to be a hard-working guy he just came from another um, village looking for good work but my was that sarah was like a public toilet a shower in this movie at first when to tomato came on him i wanted to sleep with him i thought she was going to say ah no ma what are you doing eh little shake blah, 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 blah. i thought i was going to like push her off but he just oh my god <laughs> i just agreed once i was like ah kilo day why is this so cheap are you a cheap same thing with the queen she just came she just jumped on him she just like having sex like, ah. Hey, you know they ask question. Ah, the man was ready to go down at any point. So cheap. Saro was cheap. Anything under a skirt that just walks up to Saro and just jumps on him. Saro is ready to do anything. If anybody had told me, ah, this guy will mess Arolake up, I did not expect it. Arolake literally gave this man her life. Arolake didn't have a life anymore. She was first married off as a young girl, barren, salted. She was almost poisoned. Her life was literally messed up. I don't blame her for settling for Saro. Usually when she discovered that he got their maid pregnant, she had nowhere to go at that point. You can't even go back because they will kill her. Arulake was very patient because if not me, after the first wife you don't marry, in fact, immediately that woman had given birth. Uh, that powder that she poured out, I said, don't pour out. T -t -t. She was so patient. She wasted time. And that was what annoyed me. From that minute that the man got that other woman pregnant, she was going through with that powder. Since he waited, the man married the first wife, the second wife. Ah! Then the part that pained my mandula on Black Gata was when he slapped Arolake. When he slapped Arolake, my head was like ding, 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 ding. Slap it back! Honestly, commend her patience because she was so calm and patient. And I don't understand why Saro could not see that he had messed up. Saro literally looked this woman up 
Taekwondo down. Like he deliberately messed her up. I honestly felt really, really, really bad for her because um, it wasn't easy now. Uh -uh. I'm sure she just wanted to feel love. She wanted to have purpose. Do you get me? I have a feeling that she wanted to bring something to the table, but she did this in the worst way possible. She couldn't have kids. I don't know, like give him something tangible. That's what I feel. She could have made something of herself, but I don't blame her. She was in love. She wanted her and her man to, to be respected. She wanted to empower the man and the man decided to be aside that both characters were on point in as much as saru annoyed me i hated the character so much he acted it so well because i actually felt what i was supposed to feel he was well respected in the society the guy called the carry shoulder anyhow the king needed him to help him resurrect his son he was requesting the king's daughter he was fine anyhow that's what his eyes were open. upon all the good things that everybody had done for him decide to mess it up because of pride they say pride comes for a fall this movie here it hammers on it a lot married two extra wives ah men will embarrass you so to me if you have not watched anikol akbar i don't know what you are doing you are slacking and you are very wrong go and watch anikol akbar so guys please don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you love you